We gotta get these things up. We gotta get the architectural fabric on. We are running out of time. So it's time to make the arches, and I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work. And screwed and brad nailed. So I really hope this doesn't fall apart. Uh oh. That's not good. We might need to get little screws, short ones, to run all the way down. So the smallest we could find was one and a quarter screws, and after putting those in between all the blocks, it can at least hold itself up now. So Hooray for that. And then right here is exactly why I wanted to double up the boards, because that would have been a failure. Whereas now I'll just throw in screws on either side and should still be usable. been overnight. I'm nervous. Oh, that's that's pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty heavy. But that's uh Do you want to lift them both up and just kind of see or? Well, I can barely lift one of them. Oop. <laughs> Are you okay? We've got to sort out how we're attaching the bottoms and then attach the tops together. And then we can actually lift it up, but that's feeling pretty sturdy. That's way better. Oh yeah, that's good. Nice. You can pull too far. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's happening. Oh jeez. <laughs> that's not working. Because the top part's bending back down. Oh, 
left side back. Yeah, that's good. Just let it rest on that board. Oh my god. So that works. I love you. I love you. We have our first chicken egg that was laid in our daughter's bed. So that was interesting. We found a chicken in the tent. And we we're like, what the heck are you doing in there? Shoot her out. Last night I was putting the kids to bed and found a chicken egg in Juliana's bed. So uh, here's just one a store bought large one. So we're going to crack this one in the pan and, and just see what happens. <laughs> Why am I scared? Oh, Holy it's shit! <laughs> it's an egg. Wow, look how thick that shell is. Wow, man. That's crazy. Oh my god. Look at it. Oh. Our first egg. Oh no, it's going to stick to the pan now. Yeah. Our first scrambled egg. <laughs> oh. Alright, this is our, our chicken eggs. Oh. And then this is just a store-bought egg. It's like kind of crazy, like how much more yellow this one is. So, let me yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good. It is more flavorful. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. That's crazy. Wait. It's creamier. Huh. How about That's that? really interesting. Now we just need pigs, then we can have our own fucking bacon and ham and vegetables and all the things. We're getting there. Go! We're getting there. Oh, the screws aren't all the way in on this side. That's a... Hey! Ew! All right, progress. No, babe, you can figure it out. Push in hard. Babe, you barely tried. tip and then like make sure it's lined up. Is this too tight? I don't know. Tight. Is that on the edge? Almost there. Shit, this is a little too tight. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, Here, just try and take take it off. Take off the hook. It's done its job. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. Holy shit. This is where this goes now. That side and just go back and forth. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now it just kind of wobbles this way. Nice. Which is fine. I didn't realize it was that tall. <laughs> I know, it's insane. Honey, I think we need to go 
taller. Yeah. It's not big enough. <laughs> Shit, that's really tall. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Nice work, honey. Thanks. Teeny tiny little paw prints. Oh, I didn't see the teeny tiny paw prints. I just thought this one was weird. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Look out! Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. They're all along here. Ding 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 ding. I bet if that's a rabbit. Ding 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 ding. ding. I think it's a rabbit. Oh yeah. <laughs> All these boards <laughs> that's awesome look at all these freaking boards <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh look at all those here's some crap <laughs> that's okay look at all this oh man <clears throat> oh that makes me so happy <sighs> Here's our cabin. Yay! You did it, hun. We did it, hun. Yay! 109 <sighs> half inch by three ish inch. Wow. Birds. I should make a couple arches. <laughs> couple of them. Hi, Gwenny. I'm coming to make lunch now. So the whole thing's doing a little bit of weeble wobbling back and forth more than we're comfortable with. So we're going to build a beam that goes straight across. So that's happening. Uh, Are you having lots of fun? I'm terrified. I need another board. Okay. Well, it's clear that the half inch by three inch strips are not going to work in pulling the arches all in line together. So let's see what else we can do. Oh crap. That doesn't seem to be working either. You're going to do what I want. Straight rows. So a uh, two inch by three and a half inch seems to work. That's the bathroom. Now this is David. And this is mommy. Hi. <laughs> and this is grandpa. And this is everyone. And this is Gwen. Look how cute she is. <laughs> Can you bring it down to here?
We've got like a week until it's expected to snow and freezing rain and whatever for a while. I don't I don't know if we're gonna make it. Well, I guess I need to sand it because I got all these little hairs kind of popping up. Wow. So apparently drying epoxy makes a pretty decent fly trap. That's gross. Good night. Well, the plastic definitely didn't keep the flies out and off of it. Apparently you can put polyurethane over epoxy. We can do that in situ, I suppose. We got to get these things up. We we got to get the architectural fabric on. We are running out of time. Okay, okay. Good job. You're almost there. You got it. Oh! No! No! After the fiasco of putting up the back one, we've got these bracer boards here, so that way the whole thing can't slide that way. We've got the ratchet strap that goes all the way across, so the whole board can't flex out this way. We've got screws ready to screw it in. And here, to brace everything, we've got the screws up there that are pulled out to hopefully pull that board out so it doesn't get in the way. I think the one right above it should be fine. Same thing on that side. I think we're ready to go. We got our ear protection on from the flies. Yeah. Go, 
you fucking winch? Are you kidding me right now? Last arch is up. You're gonna break your ass climbing around on that thing. Well, guess what? I just did. Ow. I was just climbing up the edge here and stepped on. Well, I replaced it, but this one's already split again. So just a board like that, but it only had one screw in it and it broke. I think it was this one. It broke and I tumbled down and I still had that board that was sticking up here. And landed on that. Well, lesson learned. We didn't make it. I will. Do a dance. <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> this is all I got. Oh, you couldn't even see what I was doing there. Really? Oh, it's a good boy. He's a dog. It was not in frame. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was dude. awesome. We would like to use as much as we can from our own property, but the economics of gravel are interesting. There is no artisanal gravel. It only really works in mass volumes. You either crush it or sift it. In either way, that's a whole lot of setup just to get gravel, whereas a whole truckload's only 40 bucks. I think very soon I'm going to be in a cloud. So we're not too thrilled about how wobbly this is going to be due to the fact that there's not really anything holding it in place. So we're going to come up here and we're going to add some structural shelves. Does your house have structural shelves? No? Why not? Your builder wasn't friggin' insane. Oh, fuck, I wasn't recording that whole time. I feel like the pressure's on when you're filming. <laughs> All right, so the power of triangles, we put up this triangle, you can see back here, wiggle hard. Okay, so there's a little bit. You can see a little bit of wiggle there. That's nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. We haven't even finished. <laughs> it's not even all the way done. Off grade uh, uh, egg sandwiches. Mm. Mm. Oh, look. Mm. Salt glass, so good. <laughs>
God. Yesterday, we were about to call it, and Molly checked the weather report, and it said that tonight it's going to snow, and it's supposed to be crappy for like the next week. We got to get all of the cover done today before it starts to snow. I'm not looking forward to this. It'll be good. It'll be good. We are really digging through the scrap pile trying to get this done. That'll do. Behold, we have a room. Yay! We don't have much of a ceiling, though. That snow is going to get in here. It's happening, winter's here. We're not ready. Although we did have pretty lots of wind this morning of and- Like 35 mile per hour wind gusts. Yeah, so it held up pretty well. There's just, you can see that little corner needs to be attached. I was gonna run stuff along the bottom anyway, but uh, uh, I got snow in my eye. So the roof that we do have is working. See, there's, there's that. It's dry right here that, in this yeah. corner. We got a dry corner. Or I guess a dry, what is that? Sixth? A sixth of the floor is dry. That's crazy. So hurry for that. Oh man. Hi jeez. Hi jeez. So last night it was too cold for the brad nailer to work. This morning when we got up it was 9 degrees. So I'm worried that the batteries aren't going to hold out on the drill. I guess we're just going to hammer and nails to try get the rest of this uh, covered in. Uh -huh. So we have determined that we can just take the diameter and do the pi r squared and get figure out we just need five rolls around that thing to make the 20 feet we need to uh jesse and the mouse in his pocket yeah me and my balls <laughs> so we had a little bit of a situation where the top came off so we got much more nails on there and we threw a line over and ratchet strapped it down just for a little bit of added security the last major piece to put up. If you wanted to be Pull harder. 
Yeah. Let slack. All right, pull. Okay. Fuck, hang on. Almost there. All right. Yeah, let it down. We did it. We did it. All three of them are up. We got about 45 minutes of sunlight left. But hey, at least we're getting something, and that ain't nothing. I am so happy to be working inside and to be off of that extension ladder. I actually had a bit of a breakdown a couple days ago where part of the roof had come off and I had to get back up there because being up on the extension ladder in the wind and the snow is obviously an incredibly stupid thing to do. Don't, don't do this. It was, it was very dumb. But now that we're inside, I feel so much better. Buy a scaffolding. So we'll get this done and then we'll blow the insulation in back there. And then hopefully that will keep us warm. And it'll look like we live inside a spaceship for a yeah. while. With the shininess. Yay, so we got the insulation up all around like the first floor. I mean, obviously we still need a door there, but insulation's up all around. Yay. Here's our yeah. here's our temporary door to yeah. block off this room. But we got insulation up in both bedrooms. And then we'll be able to blow in insulation on the walls almost all the way around, obviously except for where there is no door. <laughs> and then on top of the loft. So that should be like R19 all the way around and then R30 above the loft. So yeah, it's going to be Hopefully awesome. that'll keep us warm. <sighs> We're getting tired of being cold. Yes. We stayed up very late last night getting that all done so we could do the installation today. And then this morning, as we were trying to figure that out, I was like, does our generator even put out enough power to run this thing? And no, no, it doesn't. So we had to rent a generator. Molly says, if we just back the truck up right to the front door, then we don't have to take the blower or the generator out of the truck. She's so smart. Jesse is making doors out of the stuff that we put in the floors. The just leftover crap that we had. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Oh, that's where it goes. Well, we got that. Yeah, that's okay. We'll put tape over this, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Here's the one he did over here. The insulation did not go the way we were hoping, but it's done enough to move in. <laughs> the insulation made a tremendous mess. It was ridiculous, actually. I, I may have had like a, a small breakdown. Because <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to be our sanctuary and then the blown insulation made it look like there was 50 years of dust in here. Yeah. And we've been dealing with dust all summer because we didn't have like a sealed up kind of place. Just the dirt here is just dust and it gets everywhere. And so we were like, hey, we're finally going to have a clean place. And then we do the blow-in insulation, and then there's dust everywhere. And it was like, I mean, it took us the morning to clean it up. And But it's still kind of dirty in here. We're getting it cleaned up. We're getting it all set up. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to move in 
Tonight. Tonight. We are moving in tonight. Urgh, please. Can we do that? We need to move in, right? It's gotta happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's backwards. Turn it around. Oh, jeez. Don't you dare. I was like, what? I'm getting tired. Yay. 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 It's a real fit. We have a carpeted bedroom. We have a carpeted bedroom. We have a carpeted bedroom. We. Oh, my God. It's actually really comfortable. Oh, my God. We haven't had like a flat. Oh, cozy floor in forever. It's really comfortable. <laughs> We could make another farmer. Oh, mom, the horse's body goes like this. Oh, oh yeah, because that's what it looks like in the picture. That's right. Just doing Let's a good job. Hey, almost 500 watts. That makes me happy.